We are moving into Phase Rug and Brawadis' house. Um, baby, you have to call them Phase Rug and Brawadis because like that's what the fans like me. Okay. Phase like, Rug and Phase Rug and Brawadis. You guys probably know um, that I play this game called Rust, and recently it has taken over my life because I play it 24/7, and I just feel like I need a break. And it's hard for me to take a break because my computer is right there. So it's easy for me to be like, eh, it breaks over and just go on the computer and play it. So I am quitting the game or trying to quit. And with that being said, I can't just like quit because I'm too weak. So me and Leslie hit up um, Uncle Rug and we're like, hey, dude, we're moving in because, you know, I have an addiction. And he's like, dude, come on over. So it's like, um, it's like my rehab pretty much. Yeah, it's, it's rehab. So I got my secondary video games here, um, like the Wii and the Switch and VR, but those aren't things that I'm addicted to. Like I can play those for like 20, 30 minutes and then I can get off, but Rust, I can't. So we are leaving this apartment for maybe a week or so, maybe a month. Maybe we're just gonna stay there and ruin their lives forever. All right, we're not going. But yeah, so maybe we're gonna like be there. We don't, we don't know exactly how long we're gonna be there, but we're gonna be there. So yeah, I'm gonna document my experience living with Faze Rug. Let's go. So I'm guessing that this is crucial yes. um, to pack to take that. Yes. in our very limited space. Yes. But this is crucial. Don't worry, they might be gone by the time. You didn't even bring a bag for your clothes. I don't need my clothes, I mean that. <laughs> All right, guys, we are pulling up now to the uh, rehabilitation center to see how this goes, man. Let's see if it can really make me quit rust. Guys, this is what happens at Faze Ruggs Rehabilitation Center. And I'm in my classroom chair watching him play Warzone while I'm trying to stay away from video games. Do you agree with Brian's method of teaching me resistance, forcing me to watch him play video games? It's a smart tactic. All right, guys, it is the morning now, and I am going with Mr. Rugg to a G Fuel photo shoot. <laughs> School picture day, bucko. <laughs> Your hair looks great. <laughs> Sell me this drink, Brian. Come on. What is this? How is this drink gonna no make caffeine. me feel? No caffeine? No caffeine. Are you kidding? Show me the show me that there's no caffeine in there. <laughs> show it to the camera. Come on. Sell it to us. Are you serious? Like this is what you this is what you're showing? Like Faze Rug is selling this right now. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who's calling? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're running up the LeBron James. <laughs> Wait, can I see? Oh my god, dude, you're running up the LeBron James. Look, you're in the finals right now. <laughs> oh my god, what are you flexing, buddy? What are, what are you, you talking doing? about? Relax, SpongeBob. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the SpongeBob. You know what he had the inflatable I arms? Actually, I actually have the SpongeBob. No, you don't. Hey, how's that drink though? Caffeine free, sugar free. You guys, we're actually getting, we're actually dropping the caffeine free chug rug. So for those who can't drink caffeine but want a taste of chug rug, dude, this is it. Dude, it does look like chug rug. Yeah, like a chug jug. Hey, have you told anyone that this was your idea? I think we talked about it in a video in one of your videos. Before. That's crazy, guys. If you didn't know, Anthony gave me the idea of Chug Rug because we played. I Fortnite. gave you Rug Chug. Yeah, you gave me Rug Chug, and I'm like, oh, let's just do Chug Rug. Yeah. We were playing Fortnite in a movie. Yeah, theater. that was crazy. Okay. Okay, open it. Okay, ready? Drop the cap. Was that good? Guys, this is um, day two in rehab of uh phase rugs house and now i'm watching bro Otis play basketball alongside the the pups and phase rug and rehab from rust instead of like playing rust i just came here to rehab so 
Okay. If I miss this shot, you have to break your cleanse and you have to go play rust. Okay, bet. All right, good luck, buddy. The sun is in your eyes, but it doesn't matter. Yes, I stay in rehabilitation. Yo, this rehabilitation center is sick. It has a ping pong table. And you get to watch two idiots play ping pong. Bro, you guys are actually the definition of brothers. Hey! Hey! You guys can tell the one, right? Yeah. And this guy got invited to the ping pong <laughs> Alright guys, it's almost 12 o'clock. Baraz is eating dinner before bed. His uh, dinner of choice would be one bite from a chicken tender from KFC and um, uh, about four day old fried rice. Chinese food. But like, is it normal that I'm about to eat this Chinese food and then within like five minutes of eating it, I'm gonna go to sleep? Like, I think my heart's gonna stop. No, no, you're a very healthy 25 year old. 26, right? 26, yeah, Brian's 25. I'm but this, this, I mean, if I was at home right now, I would be imagining what is Barwada's doing right now. I wouldn't, this would be the last thing I'd imagine you're doing right now. But hey. I think I'll be doing playing basketball at midnight, bro. No, nah, imagine you'd be sleeping, not eating four day old fried rice. It's not four. Hey, 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 hey. He's, he's waiting on you. No, he can't. Booker. He's overweight. He's, he's waiting on you to give him a piece. No, here, you can have a kiss. <laughs> oh. He's on a diet? Yeah. I don't know. Guys, earlier today, Anthony asked me to give him. Some Anthony beef wanted jerky. to give him some beef jerky, and I told Anthony no, bro. Yeah, okay, just for the fans, can you maybe give them like a little something like you no, have the something? Fans, actually, for the fans, they want me to put them on a diet that uh, they're healthy. So no, he's not. He's cute or chunky though. Yeah, cute, Booker, you're cute or chunky. Cuteness does not equal healthy though. But yeah, guys, this is a typical night at the house at eleven fifteen. Me and Leslie it's it's are in the room at it's almost one o'clock in the morning, and we're trying to sleep. And this guy is in our room talking about the Netflix show You. Listen. Talking about how he doesn't like the ending and he doesn't. If you guys haven't already watched it, this is going to be a spoiler. But the ending pissed me off. How are they going to kill off love? It's now it's about 1.45 and um, we're s more tired than we were when you started the conversation. I just hope when season four starts, somehow love never died. You know what's crazy? You're talking about you and his shoes are right there. I want to be Can Jay you put them on? <laughs> no, Brian wore those. So I, what? Is he a foot fungus? That's funny. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, he really, but yeah. All right, can you say good night to the fans? If you guys tell me good night, Joe Goldberg. Good night, Joe Goldberg. Good night, Joe Goldberg. Alright, good night guys. My brother. It is morning. I'm going to get breakfast right now. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Oh my goodness, my car is cold. <clears throat> Rehab's going good. I think that it's around this time. I feel like I need to start mocking or else um, I don't know what I'm going to do. What is this again? Need that. So this is an um, iced chai latte with sugar cookie. Bro, look at that. Gosh. Dang, dude. What We're about to film a banger today. And you guys are coming hey, with you, us. You know Kabi Lane from TikTok? No. Oh, yeah. I do know that guy, actually. We got a MacBook, Switch, a bunch of stuff for the Switch. For, what, $100 gift $100, card? Yeah. AirPods. Speaker that was like 130 bucks. So you're spending... Oh, and an Apple Watch. Hey, it's for my fans. Bro. All this for like a two-minute part to give away to just random fans on the street. That's Not like, even fans. Just random people on the yeah, street. Yeah, that's the beauty of it. I was just looking at you, just pick them all out. I'm like, dude, is this guy like gonna like stop picking these things? Or, like... Hey, the more the merrier, right? If hey, your face rug, the it's more the merrier. Um, Brian is doing a video called uh, building an indoor water park in his house. And I'm going to be um, pretty much building it. And uh, Papa Rug is going to be my uh, employer for this. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, like a little walkthrough of how we're gonna build it. Uh, yeah, let's get it. This is what we have. And we're pretty much setting it up right here. We're doing a water slide on one of the stairs. And we have a bunch of tarp. It's gonna be crazy, man. Let's run it. Oh, Papa Rug is taking a break right now. So. You believe this guy? I can't believe it, dude. We're, we're on time here. We can't just- And he's our and employer, break. so. All right, guys. So first order of business is to put tarp everywhere and waterproof the carpet area. 
So let's run that. Fire? This is gonna be crazy. Bro. This is gonna be a lot of work and very dangerous. But thank God that Brian is here to test it out off camera. Hey. No, I don't like anything like you. I'm about 300 pounds heavier, and you have nicer hair. Dude, it's gonna be crazy. Like, what are the chances I get hurt? What are the chances anyone else has ever done this in their home? All right, so we are, what, like, ha like 60% done with the water slide, right? Yeah. And then we finished the pool, so we just got filled with water, and then now we have this. Go ahead, Ron. And this has, like, water coming out of it and stuff. And then, yeah, dude. I mean, freaking crazy, man. All right, 10 second Bosley break. All right, guys, so pretty much everything is set up right now. The only thing is for the slide, we're gonna have to like, I'm gonna be standing over there, right, right here, holding this, so it literally is like a real slide. And we're gonna have water and soap coming down here. We're gonna fill this with water, but Brian wanted to come down the slide into the pool, so we just deflated this top one right here so that it would be shorter and he could be able to go into the pool. And uh, yeah, now we just have to inflate this rainbow, put it, set it up right here with some sprinklers and stuff, and then we're ready to go. Book or no? Oh my God. <laughs> Papa Rug, why is there foam in the pool? Dude, aren't you excited? Bro, you need to test your own product. That's like if I were to make shoes for LeBron James and then try to play basketball on them. It just, it doesn't fit for me. Like, you should be It was proud. made for you. You should be proud of what you did. I'm proud of it when I see you go down and realize, damn, I did good for you. Well, what about when I flip upside down and tumble down the stairs? Well, and you know, you, you fall, you get right back up if you're able to. If I'm able to. If you're able to, and that's, that's that. Hey guys, guys, I'm gonna give him a pep talk. Do it. That's it? Do it. I'm not gonna do it. No. I'm gonna do it if you do it. No, you're gonna do it because you've done stupider things. And when you backflip into the foam pit and you broke your ankle? <laughs> I don't wanna break my ankle again. Well, no, but. Getting fired up or what? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so scared. Dude, I'm actually scared. I haven't done <laughs> He's imagining his final video. <laughs> I'm just hoping like, you know, like within an hour we're just done. And I'm happy. I'm like, oh yeah. cool, that was so much fun. Do you have your stunt double on? <laughs> I wish. Dude, I'm actually hiring a stunt double. <laughs> if you guys look like FaZe Rug, I don't want to look alike. Comment in, in the comment section below and he's gonna hire you as a stunt double. Like what could possibly go wrong? Cut to the next clip of what's about to happen. <laughs> The plan last night was to film the whole indoor water park footage for Brian's channel, but you can see it in the video. It wasn't too crazy and Brian had a different vision in mind where he wanted it to be super sick. He didn't want to go halfway. And so he came up with the idea, just go way bigger the next morning, which is today. And today's Thanksgiving. So I went to my family's house in the morning and then the plan was to go back to Brian's, but Brian called me and he's like, hey, like, I don't want you to, you know, come all the way and it's Thanksgiving and this and that. This is a sweet guy. I just want to kiss him on the lips right now. But to surprise him, I'm actually on my way to him right now. We're going to surprise him. We're going to see um, what he did. And I think it's going to be crazy and fun. Go. Surprise! <laughs> His reaction was wild. Surprise! <laughs> I told him that you wanted me to stay with my family for Thanksgiving. Yeah, bro. But dude. Hey, you didn't have to. Hey, had to come out with, dude, oh my oh, God. Bro, they're pushing it more inside too. So what is this? Oh I'm my trying, God. Bro. You got an extra pair of underwear. Yeah, yeah dude. Go and swim it. Bro, what's up, man? Dude, oh my God. It is so windy. All right, guys, we got Phase Rug stun double out here. Dude, how oh, okay, okay. <laughs> guys, this is Phase Rug stun double. We're good to go, guys. Phase Rug's in the room right now. He doesn't want to do these tricks. Can you show us, like, what, like, some crazy tricks real quick? Like, this guy's not afraid of anything, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's so dedicated. He even got Phase Rug safe tattoos. <laughs> dude, 
Brian's favorite food Dude. in the whole world is Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, the mac and cheese. <laughs> I just stopped. Guys, uh, guys, I'm about to make Brian's whole day right now. Watch. Brian? I think you just have to, like, make sure, bro. <laughs> what did you do to it? You better not no, mess with I my said I'm gonna. Can. No, I actually said I'm going to make your whole day right now. Okay. Wait, it's hot. I don't care. This guy doesn't care if it's hot, dude. Bro, <laughs> it's bad. It's weird how much you love Thanksgiving. Wait, wait, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> guys, guys, he's, he doesn't hear me right now. Like, he can't hear what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm editing this video right now from my home. I'm back home. We spent about five days in total at Brian's house. Everything was super fun. Shout out to Brian and Brandon uh, for making it super fun and dope. And Leslie's right there. I think she's sleeping or she's dead. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, you want me to spend another week at Faze Rugg's house, even though he doesn't want me anywhere near him. Let me know in the comment section below. If you are not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. If you don't follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, links are in the description. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram. Uh, I'll be posting like crazy stuff on there. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Peace.